Kamaishi Daikonon prays for world peace and for victims of past tsunamis. And Kamaishi Japan is where we find ourselves today as the Rugby World Cup looks to help with the healing process for this rugby loving town, which was savaged in 2011. This afternoon, it's Pool D play between Fiji and Uruguay, where the conditions are perfect at the Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium. I'm Sean Maloney, and joining me for the call is former All Black Andrew Mertens. Mertens, there's just so much emotion around this fixture. There is. Good afternoon, Sean. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing spectacle here. It's surely no sports event is going to bring back the people that were lost, but this is a significant step in the process of, of healing and moving forward, and it's an amazing occasion to be a part of. Very proud rugby area here, home of the Sea Waves, been the home for a number of Australasian and foreign players over the years, and a lot of them were implicated in those events of 2011. So through a couple of games, Pool D looks like this. It's Wales at top on points at differential for the moment. Australia with that win over Fiji on Saturday find themselves in second place. So it is a must-win game this afternoon for the Fijians. drums which we've heard pounding out around each of the stadiums since the outset in Japan they at the start of a festival Andrew Mertens and that's exactly what we've got this afternoon here in Kameishi. It looks absolutely picture perfect doesn't it a beautiful day certainly conditions won't be alien to Fiji nor Uruguay for that matter but for a hard, fast ground, which is what Fiji wants today. They want to hold onto the ball more than they kicked away against Australia. They want to use the ball well. They've got plenty of space and, and strength, as always. You see the flags there of both Uruguay and Fiji. You'll see plenty of them across the afternoon as well. They love a flag in Kamaishi. They represent happiness. They're a good luck charm for the local side, the Kamaishi Sea Waves. They're dawn the fishing fleets as well around the region around the Iwate prefecture Robert time Silent now respect, the anthems of both Fiji and Uruguay preceding that our moment's silence to remember those lost in the tsunami of 2011. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Fiji and Uruguay. Fiji Kokka, Narabini, Uruguay Kokka no Enso des.
touring Uruguayan fans here in the northeast of Japan in Kamaishi. Royalty here with us as well this afternoon, the Crown Prince, Okashino from Hito, and his wife as well. It's time now for Fiji's Thimbi, their cultural challenge for Uruguay. It's stirring stuff. And before we get down to business here in Kamaishi, we need to put the field itself in a context. This is where the junior and high school used to sit in Kamaishi, washed away by the tsunami eight years ago. And now home of the Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium. It's remarkable that we're even taking the field, but here we are for Rugby World Cup 2019. They love the code here in Kamaishi. They love it in Fiji. They'll be cheering on John McKee. And in Uruguay, it's Esteban Menes. Maris. Yeah. Esteban Menezes, the boss of Uruguay. Can he conjure up some kind of an upset here this afternoon with his men, with Herman Kessler? The try scoring hooker of Uruguay. And another look at how the Fijian side lines up. Yes, as you said, a lot of changes, Sean, but a lot of fresh legs, and it has been a quick turnaround, and it was an extraordinary effort against the Wallabies for those 60 minutes. A few positional changes, but guys here jumping out of their skin. For a lot of them, obviously, it's the first touch of the World Cup rugby ball, and they'll be very excited. There may, may be some nerves. It is a big occasion. Both teams are well aware of the significance of this match. One minute. Okay. What I liked about the uh, the story of the schools on this side, Sean, was that the heroism of the, the, the older school, the high school, where kids were sent down to buddy up with the younger kids at the primary school. They knew they were going closer to the sea. They knew it, they were going into harm's way, but they went and buddied up and they took them up the hill. As a result, 570 was saved. Teachers and students, remarkable. There, out of France, our ref. <laughs> Kamashi City, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for hosting us. Fiji v Uruguay, our next up game in the 2019. Rugby World Cup, it's Uruguay going to work in defence here and snapping it away from Fiji, but then losing the handle. As Fiji look at to work it away from inside their own 22. Right in the breeze here and into touch. I'm Sean Maloney alongside me, former All Black Andrew Merton. Sideline, he's a two-time World Cup winner with New Zealand. Also, Melody Robinson. Am I right in saying, Mel, that breeze is running with the Fijians in this first half? It absolutely is. It's diagonal across the field. So if you're kicking from that right corner, it will probably head left. So certainly uh, favouring the Fijians. So it is Herman Kessler to the middle. Good clean ball from Uruguay early on. And now they swing it off the hip. They can't hang on. And we'll go back to the spot where it was grasped. And it will be a Fijian feed to the scrum. Good defence from both teams already. Fiji a little bit messy coming out of their 22. And here's the move here. You see Bergesi takes it up. Right wing Freitas just pops last minute, pops on his outside. Wasn't a bad ploy. Just got hit in that double tackle and losing control of the ball. 
Nice work from the winger coming from the blind side, trying to put some extra numbers on that open side for Uruguay. Fijian scrum was put under all sorts of pressure by Australia Five. on Saturday. No doubt there will have been some tinkering done Set. by coach John McKee in the lead up to this clash. Yeah, they were under pressure, Sean, but they did hold and they came out of that game statistically on 100% of their set piece, which is a pretty good effort. Not traditionally known as the best set piece in the game, especially when competing with the so-called tier one nations. So it was a big step up from Fiji and they will be looking to dominate here today rather than hold. Crutch. Five. So it's the new number nine, Henry Sinaloli, who will feed. It's a nice strike from Mesu Dolokoto. And here they are, working up the part now, Sinaloli. Rips it wide. And as they did last Saturday night, they look to inject their wingers early on. That time around it was Filippo Nakosi, but we're coming back for the infringement at the scrum. I'm actually surprised they went to the right-hand side there, Mertz, uh, because the defence from Uruguay was numbered up. I'd love them to see and give the opportunity to Randrandra one-on-one on, one on their left-hand side. As touched on by Andrew Mertens, Fiji. Perfect with their line-out work in game one to the front and it's play on. Play on for a four okay here for Sinaloli in comes Nicky Ngonova this time around Sinaloli comes in and he'll come back short side for Dolokoto Dolokoto good work over the ball from Uruguay very nearly forcing the seal good tip on ball there from in behind the kick comes from Manavesi, but it's read well. And now the big tackle as well goes in on Arata for Uruguay. With Arata taking the kick, that forces Bacesi into scrum half. Again, good defence from Fiji. Arata looking for options to clear this part of the field. Arata Wait, taking his time three, and now wait. box kicking into the breeze. It holds up. Down for Vader Carney. He's a thrill machine, Vader Carney, and he shuffles it straight away and found Nikosi who swings back to the right. Now pops beautifully to Vokka. Sinaloli. Good hands wide from Nakarawa who starts at eight this afternoon instead of in the second on, row they go in a touch out wide uruguay want to go on quick here uruguay dangerous stuff oh, but a bit of seca one of their best players for the last little bit freitas takes the return ball sanganetti arata okay see good ball out in front the odd drop Looking like it's going to be knock on. Hack ahead yeah, play from Uruguay. No point of vintage. Maui. In the midfield. Maravesi. Vedicani. Vedicani delays the switch here for. Nicky Ngorova. Off it now! Just over halfway. Maui at the back. Maravesi. Akarawa. Right, they go here. Good build up, good feet as well. It was Shareva Tumbula, who was loose in contact. Uruguay come away with it and they kick back downtown. Veda Carney. See some room in behind. Veda Carney, good skills. Gets it up over the top, looking for a runner out wide. Connects now with Vokka. 
Moses Walker, excellent work from Vader Carney. You're going to be off their feet. Play on the call. They make the seal now. The penalty comes. But a look run, there. A little glimpse. Off feet Andrew first. Mertens at the skills of Alavaretti. Not Great to Carney. Way when you Yes, they're just the board. something smouldering away, aren't they? And just the slightest spark is going to ignite everything. And that time it was Vito Carney, as it is so often. A beautiful little chip kick. Hardly even touched it. Slightly ahead, three steps later, he had it back in his hand and another great step. And a long ball out to Vokka. You see it here. Watch this. It only just touches it lightly off the boot. Come on. Beautiful. BG's dangerous and right up in there, 22 now, Mel, sorry. <laughs> yes, right, I've written next to his name. Brilliant, dangerous, creative, and he showed it right there, didn't he? It's fantastic to see him with the ball in hand and fantastic to see Fiji running the ball. They keep it tight now, they swing short side, and here comes the try for Mesu Dorokoto. Very slick move from the Fijians off lineouts. As you said, as we mentioned before, 100% lineouts against Australia. What that does is give you confidence that it's working well. There are so many moving parts, and on this occasion there were even more because they've flipped around the front. Nakarawa, I think it was, who comes around here. He goes just a little tip pass, and Dolokoto in in the corner. Great start for Fiji. Lovely start indeed. I loved it how the captain Wangani and Burutu did the fake jump at the front, moved out, and it gave a bit of space and doubt when it came to the defensive line out and then that beautiful move around the front. For you kids watching at home, that is how you do a move at the front of the line out. In steps Josh Maravesi. Takes over the kicking duties with Ben Volovola on the bench. Manavesi and the breeze starts at left and keeps sending that direction as well. So Fiji go up by five inside the first ten. And well, Andrew Mertens, I know we're on the northeast coast of Japan, but we could just as easily be in Nandi or Lautoka in Fiji. Very similar, the mountains dwarfing the sea. Yeah, conditions aren't alien here for Fiji today, and they have plenty of support too. A lot of noise there for the try, and it was right in front of the whole bunch of school kids down that end. Awesome. Then it goes to Veda County. Able to shoot to Rundra Rundra. Didn't he do North some time. damage in his first World Cup on Saturday? Semi Rundra Rundra, no doubt. Another there should be looking to connect with him a whole lot more as this game goes on. Speaking of. Center lolly away for Dolicotto, the try scorer. Pops it Nicola wide, Vintage. but it's knocked on there by Nikosi. No, Vintage no good. And forces Kessler to tidy up for Uruguay. But Kessi floats it long. The middle line comes his fullback, Nieres. Avetez over for Rokor. Avetez over. In. Going to see plenty of ball in play this afternoon, no doubt about that. Both sides happy to put it through the hands early on. Fiji will be chasing the four try bonus point to keep their playoff hopes alive in Japan. Yeah. No that can't work from Fiji. They lose their feet in the process though, and no hands. Uruguay punch it short side through the captain, Gamanara. Here's a box kick from Arata. Good work as well. With a rush up D there from the Jesse. You're offside. Because you're in your area of the rack, one meter, you're offside. Offside because the ball is around the run. On the tackle, one meter. here in the Kamishi okay. Recovery Memorial Stadium, Andrew Mertens. Under no doubt what was wrong there for Uruguay. No, it's, been, it's good to include the entire crowd in the proceedings. A little bit of difficulty from Uruguay just getting enough go forward and having to resort to the kick. Bit of a shame, that's energy sapping that play. Eight, nine phases, tiring your forwards out and then only to kick it. I think they're probably a little bit better at the start of this game while the Fijian legs are fresh to maybe kick a little bit more. Although in saying that, you do not want to give these flying Fijians any extra chances. Dolokoto. Go down by Bongani Brotu. Nakarawa. Just yeah, a one offload. Yeah. At the weekend. 
be looking at a few more to that as Nakosi steps out of one, now lays it back well. Uruguay don't commit at the breakdown. Number up well in defence. Randrandra. So Randrandra. Oh, he tried for Vatikani on the outside. And it was very nearly intercepted the there the by ball. Fleitas. He couldn't hang on, and it'll be a Fijian scrum. Simi Randrandra will be thankful there. Fijians trying to spread it wide, give their big man out in the 13 jersey a one-on-one. -on -one. But that was a fantastic tackle by one Manuel Cut. Very close to a try opportunity for Nicolas Freitas. Difficult too for Uruguay to defend because so many of those Fijian forwards are out there in the back line. In the end, they're pushing the pass just behind them, getting them to the X factors in the back line. Crutch. Pretty much, Five. you couldn't say that that inset was nearly a try saver because they certainly Six. had an extra man up wide. Fiji. Sinaloli lets his forwards do their thing at scrum time. Nakarawa traps at the base, now comes away with it. The other Nakarawa, 2018 European Rugby Player of the Year. Oh, oh. To breeze at the back of Fiji down to Freitas. Freitas dodging some white jerseys initially and eventually put down by Dolokoto and Ngonada. Wait, wait. Will box kick. And there are four runners back here for Fiji. Nakarawa takes it, looks up, sets off himself. Oh, what about the pass from Nakarawa to Vatikani? He's put down just short of halfway. A little sample entree from Leon and Nakarawa in terms of what he can do with his offloading. Still with Fiji. Here he comes again. Out the back it goes. And in goes Kessler. He offloads himself and finds Arata. Rata desperate for help, and Rata trying to get away from Fiji! The little man goes through! Santiago Rata in Uruguay! Well, what an amazing effort from one of the smallest men on the pitch. He scored against them last time, Rata, and he's done it again, and he had a lot of work to do. Great effort from Kessler. Herman Kessler came flying through. He came flying through and got onto the loose ball. And it pops up, and Arata just worked away. The Fijians chasing after him desperately. Here's the ball going to ground. There's Kessler. Then he goes. Body on the line. And Arata, a quick step. Wow, there's one, two. And Wunneva came through with a big flying hand to try and pull him down, but couldn't manage it. You can't take that moment away from Santiago Arata. Great moment, he's only 174 centimetres, as you mentioned, one of the smallest guys on the pitch. And of course, Fiji, they missed 41 tackles against Australia. It's one area they've got to work on. They went close moments ago, Uruguay, with Freitas almost bringing in that intercept. And second time round, Kessler. Kessler combining with Arata for the Match leveling try, the conversion good, 7 5 is the score. Uruguay are up. Yes, and it's a stark warning to Fiji that although they might be getting some reasonably easy yards, relatively easy yards, and getting the passes away when they push it too much and make mistakes, Los Teros are going to pounce. Josh Maravesi deep with a restart down to his opposing number. Grabbed by Bocchetti. Sends it up the park for Vedicani. Already Vedicani looking for some help with support runners and it's just ripped away from Vedicani. Uruguay take it off through Diana. No, it's not fun. You lose the control of the ball. Now some problems for Uruguay. Mistakes though, saying to hurt Fiji. Yes, and as I mentioned before, I don't think it's complacency from Fiji, but I just think they're getting a little bit too easy in terms of making yards, getting their arms free, popping off to players, and they get excited by that, as anybody would. 
and I think they've just got to keep a lid on it a little bit, work their way up the field, earn the right to chuck those passes around. At the same time, you don't want to stifle their natural play. But I think after an initial onslaught, Uruguay is fighting their way back in at the moment and getting some confidence. Fine. Set. Lolly, penalty, Fiji. Engine one, one blue, engine. One blue engine. So Roni, I should say Sangaretti, Sangaretti, he's the one that got penalised there from Uruguay. Interesting with this Uruguay forward pack, and particularly their props and hookers, they all play. Uh, different positions, Lucy, tight head hooker, they're very versatile, they really pride themselves on their scrum. One metre inside the Uruguayan 22, Fiji looking to reclaim the lead here. They go to the back, it's taken nicely, and now they put their set-piece play to work again. Dolacotto gets through, Famali connects with Voca. Six oh, away, Tino. lovely passing from the Fijian big men. Sinloli looking for options, gets it to Nakurawa. Somehow that comes back for Fiji, and it's with Saulo. Sinloli looking wide right now. Fiji. Ngonova. He goes to the open side, away from his wing. Anavesi. That bounces up, but it's okay for Vadambua. And now. Final one is Ratuva. Really bad, it's Fiji. Bang it in tight is Ratuni Yalawa. They pick and go, they're close, they're one away, Fiji. Looking to stroke back immediately, they bury their way towards the line, still short. Uruguay hanging on for the moment. Over the top, Maui. A repeat effort. I think we've got to try. I think. It might be Ronnie Maui. It's good for Fiji. Yeah, yeah muscle from the Fiji and Ford pack. Hammering away at the line. It seemed to be only a matter of time. At the same moment, though, Uruguay one, one. appealing to the referee. One. They think that Maui might have been on his knees towards one, the one end. Move. As we see the last bit of it here. Here he goes. He has one go. Oh. He may have a point, you know. He was held. He went to, went to ground with his knee. The try stands, and a good one for Fiji, and they take the lead again. I guess the key to it too is that they were pushing the passes like hot potato, just all over the place, and then suddenly the Fords took over there, did the pick and goes, and Maui came up with the points, but it was a collective effort from the pack. This time around, Maravisi reads the breeze beautifully. The conversion is on the score sheet. Fiji reclaim the lead. 12 play seven. Just taking some time to restart. Dolakoto getting a little bit of attention. It's been very involved. Second line out in a row on attack that they've played a little willy away movement this time around the open side. Vedakani takes the restart and is rushed into the kick. Now Ngunova has to tidy up after Vedakani was charged down and it's great hustle it is from Uruguay. Yeah, they're very scrappy, aren't they? You know what you're going to get with an Argent, uh, with, excuse me, a South American team as you see the charge down here. Ten, ten. You're going to get them fighting for everything. They're enterprising, they're courageous, they'll scrap White on the three. ground for everything and they will keep coming at you. South American teams. They've got chop tackles and they now have a great opportunity to reply again. Come on, Kessler to the front. Around the corner now, Kessler. Kessler at the back. He's a try scoring phenom. The number two for Uruguay this time around. Fiji put it down. They've done so illegally. So penalty advantage here for Uruguay. Los Terros. Through Dotti. No call, I'm back to penalty here. 
Right. So they get another go. Ten away. And I think they'll go same again, won't they? I think they'll go line out now. Set up again. Well, they've done well in that area so far. You'd look to go for that driving mall again. Put Fiji under pressure. This time, though, if they do do a driving mall, it'd be good to keep the patience. Just keep the ball at the back. Try not to disintegrate. Come on, Kessler. Six test tries. We lost Teros. Round he comes. Kessler going himself. Eight. Sending towards the Fiji defence. And get five and under from the line here. One away. Getting close. Good he go the Uruguay. It's tit for tat early on. And the try goes to Manuel Diana. Yeah, what a response from Uruguay. And I didn't think they were going to get there. Incredibly good work. You can put that down to Len Dekar, number five, who came around the corner. They moved the ball quickly, much like the Fijians. That's the Willie away. And Kessler puts his head down, has a go. Just struggling a little bit physically at times. And I thought, oh, it's going to slow up. But there he goes, Len Dekar. And he fights, just gets that extra meter. Gave them some impetus. And the pick and go. What a try. Well, the good news is that they're really putting on a show for the fans, both these sides. It is absolutely fantastic what to watch. And, of course, that beautiful variation at the back of the line-out. Good kick, too. It's a seesawing opening quarter. And a look at the closing stage of the power of Uruguay. Yes, and it was a very quick pick and go. The ball came up off the ground. It was a... Uh, an assistant player pushing through, driving through quickly, keeping the Fijians on the back foot. As I say, the, the extra metre that Manuel Lendekar was able to eke out of his run was absolutely crucial. Fiji hitting it down to the Jesse. He sends it back into the wind and it will be a Fijian line out throw around about 38 hours. Huh? Come on. Come on. So down kick and a loose carry have cost Fiji two tries. Uruguay. No! Really? Not tonight. on the Fijian errors. BG up in front for Bader Kane. Nicolosi on the far side. Tucker! And then go out to stop in his tracks. Out of Essie. Under, under, up. Yes, he can. Can he get it over the top? Yes, he can. Now they swing into action down the far side. Fiji with some good build up here. That was Vokka. 25 out. Now Messi has to check the pass for Nakarawa. No! Off it now! Off it. Now Messi pulling the strings. Katie Carney holds it up here. Nicosiano, it's out the back and he's. Ninja touch. You're a guy line out throw. I didn't see him. Saw him he looked very promising at the end, didn't they, Fiji? And I think Perchesi has gone down hurt in that tackle. He made the last tackle, and it was a brave one too. And it needed to be made. You see it here, it goes in beautifully. And it just to knock the arm and the ball. Big Randrander looming outside there. Putting their bodies on the line for sure, Uruguay. And I think Fiji at times is just struggling with a little bit of unorthodoxy about the Uruguayan defence. They're getting their arms free, but I think it's difficult for them to get into good running line positions. It's not clear. So yeah, Uruguay it's not clear. I will start with the line I just board. It's not clear. Making it hard, disrupting, aren't they, Mel? Yeah, their line speed uh, is excellent as well. They're really getting up together. And 
Wait, wait! Kessler to the middle. One, leave it! Leave it, leave it, leave it! Seven. Another box kick from Arata. Some confusion as well there from Fiji, and that's going to work out a treat for Diana. He says, if you don't want it, Fiji, we'll have a dip, no problems. And he's one man well Ganara. Scrap the ball across the face of Bocchesi. Good strike and go from Mieres. And some room across to the left of Silva. Silva he keeps it alive. Uruguay. Oh, Uruguay. Juan Manuel Katz. Wow, what a finish. What a play from Uruguay. The creativity, the support play. Some big hits from the Fijians, but Uruguay just kept on coming. Los Teros are never tackled. They're keeping the ball alive. And that ball went very, very the kick from Arata that got lost there. Fiji's looking into the sun. And it came about as high as our commentary position. But this is towards the end of it. Big hit there from Fiji. And they kept the ball alive. Good hands from Uruguay. And here it is again, the support play. Great run on the inside. And an excellent effort getting arms free as well. A great try to cut. Oh, you can't take anything away from Uruguay at this point. Look at the faces on their fans. Are absolutely ecstatic. So's the team. Poor defence, really, from Fiji. Fatu Mbwa coming in, missing the tackle, then Randrandra coming in too. But honestly, this is a game. Up steps Bajesi. Bajesi. His country's all-time point scorer, and he just strikes that one through the uprights. 21-12, Uruguay lead Fiji. His record point scorer, Felipe Gacchesi for Uruguay, and he edges close to that 300 mark, 293 now. As we see the end of it, a big hit, arms free in the support play, and Uruguay at the moment playing on adrenaline and playing on confidence, and it's fantastic to see. Andrew Merton's three mistakes from Fiji, and it's cost them three five-pointers. Yes, you don't have to do much, and especially when a team's as motivated and as animated and activated as all of those today. Terrific grab up high from Langdekar. <laughs> Wait! Just to settle down the base of the run and then... Use it now! Use Full tilt back into the defence. Easy pickings for Lost Hills. Icing up again on the short side. With a full play on! Nothing! Tim Adavesi does a lot of balls off the ground. And he's prompt. Up to me, Gala. Stop, Gwen. Adavesi. Around the run, run. Works over the top there of Siveta. Forward there from Fiji, and they go to the boot, and it's a net result. It's a net result after the double there from the Chessy. Yes, he'll be disappointed in himself there, not least because Fiji spent so much effort in so many phases there. Just as always coming up to look at the defensive line and advancing. But Fiji having spent so much effort and then resorting to the kick because they just couldn't just break sure through. Like they standing Not up, too early. their tackles. They scramble, they hustle. At the moment, they're forcing Fiji into mistakes. I'm saying that. <laughs> Put two around and score a try here, just like that. And the other thing about Fiji in particular, Ratu, Crutch! For 
for Fiji, the number five. His body position has been quite high, and that's given the physical dominance and the tackle Set. to the Uruguay of my defenders. So it just tends to get a little bit You know! Told to use it here, Nakarawa. So Simoli bounces out to the right. Manavesi, Manavesi. Connecting with Uzelovac, but it can't in the line. Chops across to Nikosi. Nikosi slapped on some feet, slapped on a bump as well. Sinieres back in reverse at pace. Vlaka tapped himself into the ground in the opening game with Fiji. Rundra, Rundra comes in line, holds up here for Batsundor. He gets with the goal, Kato. Goal, Kato cuts in field, cleans up. Good work from me. Only try score for Fiji. No. Doing his nose through there. Raptuva. Mavisi. Oh, it's low. The ball's low. Not gone by six. Gone by the <laughs> captain. Longanin brought to. Who's that? Blue scrums a call. Six one. Yes, I know I'm going to be accused of sounding like I've written off the Uruguayans right from the start, as we see. And of course, he at the far side showing his power. Now we're next round now. But I think when you look at the, the catchment that Uruguay has, they've got vastly fewer numbers than most other nations at this World Cup. Stay up, they've straight. They've only turned professional recently. And you long bind. And go up. It, and they're really doing One. well. I'll give the exact number. 6,000 active Good players picture. in Uruguay. The only all amateur team at the 2015 Rugby World Cup. Crunch. They come on, Mertz. Yeah, it's awesome. And. You know, like I, say, I wasn't writing them off necessarily, but it just looked like from the start Set. Fiji was gaining those early meters. And I think Fiji themselves have just got a little bit ahead of themselves. But as Mel said, oh. they're, they're running high. One, two. They were trying to get offloads, which were successful in the first oh, five or ten minutes. But we are early engaged. Has both, both from the early engage. Uh, they're making we some set. really committed tackles, Mel. It's not my um, specialty subject. Yeah, absolutely. They are. They're low, yeah. they're gripping their arms, they're driving with their shoulders. You know, this Fiji team, as and a 15, side? has got 70 kilograms on Uruguay, Racing. so that's Good. just fantastic that you can't notice that in the physicality. I don't know what kind of uh, half-time coach John McKee is, but um, if I was him, I'd be giving a few rockets Bye. to a few of these guys. The words Set. there from two-time World Cup winner with New Zealand Melody Robinson and Andrea Mertens. Well, you rush and you push. The back, so I'm Sean Maloney. Great to have you with us for our call from Kama Ishii. So much emotion around this game this afternoon as we return to the home of the Kama Ishii Sea Waves rugby team, which was devastated by the tsunami of 2011. And the locals have come out and loved every second of this battle between well, Uruguay and Fiji and Uruguay. Up and looking to go further ahead. Back and had to tie it up for Fiji. Did he get that first? Is it played on? We need to have another look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had lost Terror, stolen one here from Fiji. My own field decision, TMO. Just my own field decision. It's no try. Just check the grounding hoof. Who's grounding the first? Okay. So we'll have a look for you. No try. As Already, you here it comes. Don't think on this occasion it'll get overturned, but gee, they've got some fight, the Uruguayans. Villa Seca, as you see, flying through here. Don't think he's grounded that over the line. Was it grounded at all? That's the question they'll be asking themselves. And if not, in this first clash, was this a knock on as well? What a great chase from Villa Seca, Sean. First is third by the blue. And the well, you him him as a man to watch this afternoon. Yeah. What's the call here from the refereeing crew? Just give us a give us a second or two. We coming yeah. back to you. Yeah, it's fine. Pascal Guzer is the man in charge this afternoon. I thought there might have been a hand there. Yeah. I, th I think it's a knock on. Give us yeah, second five. Now. I'd agree with you too. It looks like a knock on before the line. Pascal. Yeah. We coming back to you. Yeah. Righto. Okay. So what we have is we have a knock on by Blue. Yeah, I agree with you. So it is a scrum? Scrum to five, five meters to Fiji. Correct. Okay. Thank, thank you. We are on the same page. Thank you. <laughs> Not right. Scrum by Blue. Back and forth. Okay. Knocked on by Uruguay. Scrum five. And it will be a White. Fijian feed to the scrum, but nervous moments okay. again for those here. Take the heat. Take the heat. Fiji, those of you. 
back on the islands as well in the Pacific. Kulabanaka, good afternoon to you. And of course, to those of you bowled in Uruguay, wherever you are around the world, it has been a thriller. Wait. Crutch. Between Fiji and Uruguay. Bye. Three gone. Set. Stay. Use now. Try and juice the penalty. Nakara with it. Take it back, and that's exactly what happens. Yeah, another strong scrum from Fiji. They've been good in the line out too. Their problem has been just a little bit of a banana no, 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 no. at times. Penalty. Odd moments of brilliance that we know they have, but a lot of other times just shuffling the ball from those mistakes. Little like pouncing. One before. Dila Seca just towed it ahead and long ever oh, straight oh, past him. Oh, I, I think he thought Dila Seca would have given up the chase, but he didn't. There's just so much pluck, so much fight in these men in what I believe is Cupric blue. Sean, I don't think it's Cobalt. Cupric to me sounds appropriate. I don't like turquoise actually. 10, 10, 10, please. Yeah, they're on the line for sure. They're on the line. Space, blue. Yeah, maybe get the colours right out, Andrew Mertens and Melody Robinson. <laughs> I'm happy to defer. <laughs> and it's with the men in the blue jerseys after stealing that line out time. Kessler. Kessler slicks away in contact there for Gaminara. Head up there for the second. That's his thing in Major League Rugby in the USA. Good straight running this time round from Civetta. Uruguay are rolling here and spinning away through the edits. The chest. Goes in the traffic. Silva, Rodrigo Silva, Dorothy. No, wait! Ten away, great build up this from Uruguay, looking for room, right, Villa Seca, Villa Seca keeps it alive. Delayed move there for Mieres. No, good, release now for team. So Arata goes in and steals. Sanguinetti. So back short side again. They're only little men on this near side, so they need to put footwork on to try and travel. Okay, That's exactly what Chelsea does. The captain again, Gaminata. Ten phases, the longest run of play from either side in this first half. Into the 22. He's running the people to pass here. They're all in the breakdown. Looks right, looks left, now they get numbers. How much Good tackle on the chest, play on. Sangeti, we'll find out in just a second, Andrew Merton, Zarata. Wide from Kat. Steering back is Silva. <laughs> oh, we're just going to park it there for a moment. Gone. Looks gone. like on the Uruguayan field. Yeah. Then he's laid out on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head to head on the tackle. He hit clash, Sean, just at the back of that ruck. Might have been off Nakarawa. Well, nothing, just a head to head. Wangani Brutu, one of those blue brick blue. bricks. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, I, I... It was a fairly nasty looking clash. There's a cleaning accident on the, the tackle. Head to head. I think that's where the contact happened. Quite benign, I, I think it was. Oh, there it is. Yeah? Yeah. Well, he won't think it's benign because he'll be in a bit of pain right at this point. Oof. Good presence of mind. Pascal goes here to load it up straight away. Going back to that passage of play, Sean. I felt sure they were running out of numbers, Uruguay. And I felt sure, given that from a football background like all South Americans, they all can kick 1 through 15, drop kicks, place kicks, both feet, everything. And I was pretty sure there was going to be a little three point taken there as we look at cut stats from the game. Already had a a big impact on this first half. Tackle over the shoulder, five. Is here, Marius, you have location, please. Where is? Crown Prince Fumihito yes. looking on. Yes. yes. Very good yes. for Japanese royalty yes. and the government. 
like to be involved here today. They have put Captain. a lot of effort, Captain. obviously, into rebuilding this entire part Captain. of the country. Captain. Well, it's not lost on anyone the significance of having this game here this afternoon, is it, Andrew Mertens? I mean, there's just so much emotion around it. Rugby has been for so long such a big deal in this part of Japan. The Kamaishi Seaways, all national champions from 79 through 85, they love it up here. Absolutely, and the more you delve into it, the more you realise how many, how many foreigners have come over and been involved in the rugby here from Scott Fardy and Peter Alatini who were, were noted as, as being part of the, the rebuild effort here immediately post tsunami Sean Cubbins from Canterbury Salala Mapasu has been here as well and all loved their time here well you mentioned Scott Fardy I actually messaged him this morning I said how's it all going over in Ireland he says no mate I'm, I'm not over there at the moment I've come back to Kamaishi to help get in on uh, the remembrance and celebration around this weekend. So former Wallaby Scott Fardy is here as well in Kamaishi. No doubt he'll be enjoying this as Uruguay, one of the emerging nations of the 2019 Rugby World Cup, look to knock it out to a 12 point lead. It's on its way, it's on its way, and it's on the board. That's not a typo. Uruguay lead Fiji 24 points to 12. Two to play in the first half. Good take again from my girl Lane de Car from the Yeah, pull up Tim White. Having touch with team. 11, put up some more on the leg. Advantage and now 11 wide. By Uruguay. What have you got for us from the sideline at Melody Robinson? Well, David in the the team, Toma has come on as a replacement there for the HR for cut. So he'll go and get his uh, head checked and they'll decide whether or not he can come back on the field. Utility back, of course, and it's his first World Cup for Toma. Oh, that's fantastic to see. Oh, as they missed touch again, Sean. David Carney grabbed it and sent it to Manavesi. Rundrandra has to go low. Now explodes into life down the right hand side and exploding over the top is Nikos. But he loses the ball on the other side of the hurdle. He lost the control of the ball. They're getting a bit frustrated with themselves, Fiji. But what a moment, as you said before, Thomas Inciarte who's come on in 23, first World Cup, and suddenly he's got big Fijians running it. And, and what a, just so much fight. You can probably get sick of me saying that, or anything, to be, to be perfectly honest, but you just can't stress how, how much he above themselves long by, this not on the top of score long is by, at the moment. No and I mean that with the greatest respect. Good on them. Oh, yeah, World 19 playing ninth in the world, who is Fiji. Good. Should have certainly been fantastic. They haven't done a whole lot wrong. Keep the crunch. Position. Just putting the pressure on the team. You really need to dull down the Fine. risk factor and up their discipline. Set. Whoa. Tom Gong has gone to the Kamahishi Recovery Memorial Stadium. And Uruguay want to keep going now. They just catch the chalk and. Pascal Gauzier pulls the shutters down on the first half. We have shot leaders in Kamaishi. Uruguay are up by 12 over Fiji. First 40 minutes of play. We're just so excited for Uruguay. They're really playing well. They're making good tackles. They started out looking a little bit shell shocked as the Fijians came storming at them in that first five to ten minutes. But they've regrouped and they're in the hunt. They're scrambling well. They're picking up the loose ball. They're forcing errors from Fiji and they're capitalizing and they quite deserve it at the moment.
Welcome back to the Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium. It has been what an incredible afternoon so far, certainly in terms of how the scoreline reads, where it is those men left of screen, Uruguay leading Fiji 24 points to 12. a winner when presented with opportunities from Fiji who were loose in the first term. There were a couple of issues for Uruguay's Amalok Hutt in the lead up to half time. He had a HIA and the good news is he's back on the field. The Uruguay scored one of the best tries of the opening week of the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Keep beside the lead, and they haven't relented since. So Uruguay looking here to overturn a blowout loss that they suffered at the hands of BG last year. They got rolled 68 points to 17. It will be a huge swing in favour of the South Americans. We are ready to go again. Fiji desperate for tries, desperate for the win to stay alive in the hunt for playoff rugby in Japan. They need it now. Blue, white. Moving in and grooving again in Kamaishi. Fiji beat Uruguay in the second half. Off and running, PG sending it down there to Uruguay's Gaston Mieres, who carries up past the 22. No, he's in, in. Arata, the base of the ruck, looking for a kick, but eventually doing it all himself. Uruguay running with the breeze here, now they sweep yeah, it no up. Yeah, no corner touch. Release the ball. No corner touch. They'll force to do a tough in the first over. half into a stiff breeze, and now. They have the benefit of riding it, and they are up by 12. Red well there at the back by Mieres. Brings it back in field to Bacchesi. Ends it straight up the middle for Rondra. Three Uruguayan defenders sweep in and put him down. Sinaloli, Maravesi. Chip on there from Nakabawa. Direct now the Fijian runners. Madavesi probing. Jarred there by Landicar. Right, Fiji going now through. You got it up. Now they're hot stepping there at the park with the pass. Misses the target. And Uruguay get out of jail big time. I'm sure Maloney alongside me for the call of this matchup between Fiji and Uruguay. Uh, Melody Robinson and Andrew Mertens. Mertz, that was a gimme gone missing. Yes, just continued what happened in that latter part of the first half, isn't it? Good attack from Fiji and just a mistake at the end. But, you know, in, in incredible resilience from Uruguay getting back to recover that ball. Dolokoto finds the Nakarawa. Belicotto comes around the corner. Now with Vodka. Another knock on, another mistake. Is on here? Stone. Fiji. Stone. Yes, but they are looking better with their attack. And I think, as you said before, they'll go a lot more direct. And I think that will mean they won't go in looking Nobody. for the offloads. If the offloads are on, I think Mel, they'll, they'll still give them, but they won't go into that collision line looking for the offload before they get into the hit. And absolutely, and their first option won't be to go wide like they were in the first half as well. They're just uh, bringing it back a little bit more, dialing it back. And you saw in the changing room, it was the players leading the discussion in the Fiji changing room. And also with the no changes for the second half, it shows that the coaching staff really believe in this 15. Good weight from Fiji, but Uruguay 
hang in there and come away with it through the under. Stay, stay, stay. Dotty helps out the screen for Hunter to it's pass, it's it's but it's Jersey up past the 22 in Fiji. We'll get another go at it. Yeah, still hot on attack, and the other Who aspect of leaving the same 15 on, Mel, of course, is they know they haven't produced what's expected of them. Give them a chance to, to rectify One that 10 or 15 minutes of, of, of really well-directed fury, and then you're off. Changes from game one to this one. Of course, there was, it has to be a bit of time to get those combinations. Slap back off the top there by Ratuva. Lavesi has to settle for Fiji. Senaloli up to Ratuligarawa. Nakarawa. Always looking likely with ball in hand. Maravesi. Randra Andra. Good. I'm a dead, I'm a dead. Hold high, I'm a dead. Uruguay. Well, he's vanished. And away they come now. Fiji, it's Nakosi into the 22. Sinaloli. Gets it to Maui. Sinaloli. Brother Andra, steaming onto it. Checked off the ball. One penalty here, second here. Tackle without the ball. And over we go to the mark. 12, 12 without the ball here. Well, maybe One penalty here, second here. Maybe not the result Uruguay wanted in terms of conceding the penalty, but if Semi gets his hands on that, then it's the ball here. by the other side, most likely part. seven, because he was steaming onto it. Semi yeah. Randra. And he is tackled with the ball. Yes, and this is not a given either. It, it looks pretty close to the post, but you know we have seen that when these World Cup balls are kicked it's badly, they five, go straight off five, the tee really badly. Five lines. Can you explain so, that to us minutes. a little more? Well, we've just seen a number of, I, th I think, good kickers in the last week. Uh, and the, well, certainly in the first few games of the tournament, just when it's off, it goes really off, and it goes straight from the tee, and it can go quite wide of the post. So, you know, this is not an easy kick. As I say, it looks straightforward. So, you know, Uruguay's come away here. There's a possibility that Fiji will get three. Yeah, we'll Even if they do get the three, worst case scenario for Uruguay, they now come back down and kick the ball deep off the kickoff into Fiji territory. Words there of World Cup finalists for the All Blacks, Andrew Mertens, played in two World Cups with New Zealand. So it's Matavesi into the teeth of, you can see the flags behind coming back towards him, and as predicted by Andrew Mertens, it starts left, it stays left, and the score remains. Uruguay 24, Fiji 12. Love to take it, Sean, but I did stop short of predicting it. If I had it, he would have got it. But, uh, yeah, it just certainly shows that, that, that Thank you, you need to be very, very careful. You've got to strike a really perfect balance between Please. kind of stroking the ball, but also giving it that dynamic hit. And I think that was a little bit too much of a stroke. From it's a shallow 22 restart from Uruguay. They don't capitalise on that wind behind them. It's taken by Nikosi. Over there, Manavesi, Vader Carney. But one or two really decent touches in the first term, and through the months that it's been hard going for Alavaretti, Vader Carney. Got a grog through. He's work like Nikosi. Manavesi. Rather under up. Under, under up. Tackled well there by Siveta. Please now! Please! And now Kelly will go the way of Fiji. I think they've got a good shot on it there. Freight has perhaps unlocked here now. Fiji string the passes together. They are oh so close through Ratuva. Numbers wide right. They won't require them. It is Afi Rakuniarawa who makes it a seven point game kick to come. Yeah, the two big blocks from Fiji combining initially a run from Tavita Ratuva. And he made good ground right up towards the line. Fiji recycling. There's a, there's a palpable, conscientious effort being made here by Fiji to not throw silly passes. Here's Ratuva. And from the very next phase, the strength of Afi Ratuniarawa. And over he goes, well played Fiji, clinical finish.
Yes, they've taken away their offload game, haven't they? And in the end, too many phases. Uruguay went, ran out of defensive players, powered over the big lot. You can see the supporters raising the flags. Happy to see Fiji back into form in the second half. A bit of a celebration and hurry up. Far more generous part of the field for Manavesi to try and reduce the deficit for his side. And he is Josh Manavesi. Pulls that one away to the right. He can't believe it. Zofa compensated the other way. And a converted try. Difference is how it stays. It's going to be playing in his head a little bit, Andrew Mertens. Start missing those kicks. Yes, and also his team, because they know how Uruguay came back into that first half, and I'm sure they're probably expecting the men in blue to do the same in this for you. Manavesi. Carries into the shoulders there of Lane Descartes. Senelotti. Lane Descartes. Trying to work himself into this match. Ball comes out the back for Fiji. Manavesi tips it on to the try scorer. The most recent try scorer. He tries to do similar. Yeah. It's loose. It's for one option because the ball is and it's not Teros who will feed the scrum. Two clear examples of how Fiji haven't approached this half. Blue three. They've been running with the ball in hand, but not trying to look for the offloads. Twice in a row just now we've seen them run into the contact, thinking of making that offload before they've actually controlled that collision. And as a result, there was almost one mistake. Straight afterwards, there was the mistake, and now Uruguay have a fantastic attacking opportunity. Very strong. Yeah, so we're going to change here in the front row. Juan Lombas comes on. You can see him there in the number 18 jersey. Crunch! Looks like tight head. He's come on for Diego Arbello, has he? He's the heaviest bloke on the park. On Pedro. Set! Feet too far. Your feet are too far. Too far, boss. It's not going to be until John V starts to bring some of these frontline players in off the pine and inject them into to this game. It's a good one because they have to jag the bonus point win to stay in that hunt in their pool here in Japan. Yes, no wonder if Ben Bolivar might come on soon in 10. Not so much about the kicking from Montevessi and Crunch. it's a hard one. You don't want to pull a kicker off just after he's missed it because you, you need to be confident the poor Britain things that they are. Set. I think Bolivar might add a bit more structure to the attack. Uruguay. Play on, play on. The Chelsea. British. Shuffled across the park to set up his midfield option for them. Diana. And he's eight married for the afternoon. Diana. Nothing happening out. Three or four pass. And it's in the best position. Now the error that comes from Uruguay and Fiji will get the scrum. Fifteen white. Yeah, just didn't do much to Fifteen take white. Out that defensive line of Fiji not not committing any tacklers oh <laughs> now I didn't say this just because I, I saw <laughs> him warming up because I didn't but he hasn't ball. actually come on for Matavesi has he Mel no no he's come on for El Vareti Feitokane he's made a couple of mistakes like guess so far and that means Matavesi probably to full back it looks like that's where he's going Ten the last, ten the last. Little space to work with this Fijian back line all across the field. Crunch. Of course, Uruguay have to drop a couple of players back to cover that backfield for the kick. So it Bye. Three defenders in the front line and Fiji has Set. their entire back line at disposal. And they find their mojo here, Fiji. The only advantage here will help. Now they put their quick man to play Rondra Andra. Keeps alive, and now it's over with Makasi. 
Rolls his way. Ball is out. Ball is out. Ball is out. Up to it. And snapping it away from Fiji. Cross goes in from the side. Yes, good Still no. Okay's the call. Oh, the good for Fiji. They can see it now. They grab it back. Not a Messi. Good run on the pass across by Rangrangra. And on that dummy, holding it up for. Down the okay. left hand side, sitting lowly. Yes, yeah. Stay back. Sitting lowly. That one across the face of BG, and they go without now. Uruguay looking to counter kicking up the park is Villaseca. Volleyball is going to have to scoot back and tidy up for Fiji. The dummies, there's no one there for him. Volleyball just holds the ball up there and back goes Mukosi. What can they get moving here? Fiji, that one is loose. Playing on the ground might be the call there against Fiji. The feet were already in touch. For it's no call, but Mukosi, not it's no call, call, but you are off feet and you place the ball. The it's plenty. And now the Off feet, you place the ball. As they just keep suggestion. Going. Yes, quite right. And you know what? The other night, I think no it was in first and off the ball, saw catch the ball. a pass or the ball going backwards and an offside called. Now, Volleyball held the ball up for a long time there before throwing it backwards to a retiring player. So I just wondered there if that might have been a, a, a penalty too. Anyway, Uruguay comes up with the penalty and they're going to have a shot. This is a difficult one. But Chelsea has been striking the ball very well today. Just about counting the bruises in front of you there, Mel, can you? Yeah, yeah, body's looking very sore, limping to the back there. See a little bit more movement on the bench from Fiji as well. He did very well just before. Gatomieres, he's a little bit sore, but he made a cracking tackle, got up and stole the ball as well. The veteran. But Jesse closing in on 300 test points. He is Uruguay's all time leading point scorer. He has the breeze to work with here. We'll look to start it out to the right. But Jesse. And it won't have the legs. Stop short and Fiji are going to look to counter. 10 away from the own line, Fiji. Uruguay scrambling defense. Play on. Driven on there by Rattuba. On to Nakarawa. I tackle six blue advantage. Penalty. Penalty for Fiji. Malavesi. Malavesi. So the two playmakers combining Malavesi and Volavola for Fiji. Dolacotto. Bouncing out of a cap. Off it now. Gets to halfway. This all began with the. Missed penalty attempt from Bercesi from Uruguay. Fiji on a count by the look from Bolivar. I don't even want to put down the stop shot of Piano. Uruguay with some sting in these tackles. They rush up outside in, that creates some space, and Fiji can't handle it. And Uruguay, it was a touch of. Real rugby smart on the far side from Uruguay. They were cooked for numbers. Well, they, they rushed up and said, uh uh, not this time, Fiji. Yeah. He's quite right, Number. Fiji. Thought they saw space out there, tried Nine desperately wide. to get it there, but good reading of the play from Nicolas Freitas. Blue eight, eight and nine. Blue eight, eight and nine. See the two Umachia brothers have come on. Eight and nine. For Uruguay. Yeah. No doubt they'll make a little bit of a difference there, and also Matawalu. Matawalu, Now, just got to put this scoreline into context. The last time these sides met, Fiji won okay, 68 points to seven. Melody Robinson, I know you've done the numbers. Uruguay have never rolled Fiji, but this is something else. It absolutely is, Captain, and that is what we, is one of the great things Why? about Captain. rugby now Captain. in 2019 with the development Captain. that Uruguay has got with their rugby centre. The fact that they are mainly professional players now, a lot of them playing in the US, 
US2 just shows you how close the competition is starting to get. Good day at the office. 11 wide. Halfback Santiago Rata from Uruguay has been replaced by Audi Normaichea, who is childhood friends with his inside half partner, Felipe Bercesi. Went to school together, so they've obviously played a lot of rugby together, the two. I just. Thanks. In his 50th game this afternoon, Juan Kessel, the number two for Uruguay. And he's been industrious as well. The man with the ball in his hands. Well done to you, Juan Kessler. Brought down by Lenica. Talented youngster for Uruguay. Now they've got the inside channel here. Uruguay up the middle. They come desperate for support. It's Silva. Tackle! Stunning run from Silva. Bocchesi. Bocchesi. Shot time. There's two Fijians burying him in the loser. We know! We know! It is out of it. Uruguay. Yaktas. On the chair. Pops it up off the deck. Good recycling from Uruguay. Sibeta, touch isolated. Now the support arrives for his side. They go the direct route through the middle. Of Uruguay getting closer. Up by seven, looking for more. The Indica. Five out. No. Nothing on that short side. They keep alive well, though. No penalty to work with. No advantage. Good defence, Fiji. Run from. Pedro Limbis. In tight they come to Ormachia. Had a good little dart in close. The reserve scrum half. The captain, Manuel Gamanaro, settles it one off. They can shift it. Right. The moment they had numbers in space. Now Fiji number up well. They're going to have to keep it close here, and that's. What they do through the captain. No! All energy in a small frame. But Jesse on the wraparound goes Freitas. Fiji read well and Tinigaroa gets a big shot on. But Jesse goes through the line initially, then loses his feet. Off you now! He's Mali looking for the turnover. Penalty Uruguay. Straight off feet. Straight off feet, straight off feet. Phase play brings Please. the penalty. And now what to do, Andrew Mertens? Straight off feet. Well, I think they'll have another go at goal. They were a long way out on that last no, one. No, that's the point you wait, wait, wait. You have to first attack the ball first. And it'll also give them a chance just to suck in a few deep breaths. Yes, they're having a go. And some really good work in, in many of those movements from Nicolas Freitas. Who came off as right wing? He provided the initial thrust with a scything run. No, 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 no. And he's been bounced around like a pinball in best at times by some of those big hits. Yeah, well, maintaining position, keeping the ball, that is Uruguay's bread and butter, really, isn't it? And while they're not making a lot of metres except for the little half break there, what they're doing is just playing very patient rugby and just waiting for Fiji to give away that penalty because they know they've got a great kicker there who's just nailing these. Belt Jesse. Felipe Jesse. 16 in from the touchline. Looking for a buffer for Uruguay. Wrapped by seven. Make it. And even 10 for Uruguay. Time you think he's down now, like many of his teammates have been knocked Martin. around. Just stands back up, provides the energy. Maybe I'm wrong, but and that'll give them a great heart, Uruguay, to maintain that buffer. Ten points they have on Fiji still. Wait, wait. Set some pitch. Time on. What a difference five days make at the Rugby World Cup. Through 60 on Saturday, Fiji led Australia by nine. 
They now find themselves down by 10 against Uruguay. Still a lot of time left though for Fiji to Use the ball! Quarterfinal hopes alive in Japan. Uruguay slung it down at the base of the ruck there and they come through and it's going to run into touch. Who's handed a couple of Fijian handies the call. And it's a Uruguay line out throw. Yeah, Josh Matavisi got up there nice in the air, competing for the ball, but just slipped oh, down, didn't please. it? Come down, numbers. Five, five. Chessy, but Chessy, ooh, just slides under a loose arm there from Vokka. Landicar. Five, five. Johnny Singh in French rugby now, week to week. Landicar. They had numbers on this side, but can't clear it. It's Vilaseca who's put down. Ball is in. Use it now, he's out, the ball, ball is out. Down in Canada, this one needs to find real estate, it does. But it's a touch, it'll be a Fijian line out throw, so unable to get their attacking patterns worth King on that occasion. Yeah, they just want to make sure they keep Fiji going backwards when they have the ball in Uruguay. Being able to call in a few reinforcements as Fiji go quickly again. I was going to say that wasn't straight, that was almost at 45. The work from the front from Dollar Cotto. Line out or scrum? Line out? You tell me line out. And the pressure just forcing Melody Robinson some uncharacteristic errors from Fiji. I agree, and they had their half back there, Nicola Matawalu at the front. Nobody was competing. It was a very easy pass to get him. And unfortunately, it wasn't straight down the middle line. Please, you must stay on the mark. Interesting call here. Uruguay didn't want the strike. You've got a target like the man on the front now. It's ripped away by Fiji. Excellent work from Manuelu. He isolated the man in the back there and snapped it away. Fiji with numbers to burn right and left. They get it over the top. It's risky stuff. Still with Fiji. Clean out the back now. Good pressure at the breakdown though from Uruguay to slow that up for Fiji. Bola Bola. There, Ratuva. Landekar goes high on him. No! Good work. Nakarawa. Nakarawa standing in the tackle. Bola Bola. Bola Bola. Shapes inside. Now hooks to get it to the out. But Uruguay read well. They've got to reload on the right hand side. Straightening his foot to you. On the chest, on the chest. Play on. No monkey around now from Fiji coach John McKee. His big names are on the park. Looking to work their way back into the contest. I'm going to to the captain. Where you away? Bolivar. Bolivar. Deep to Maravesi. Maravesi. Rounded up by the Jesse. Manuelu. Bolivar. Lovely ball, creates the angle out to the left, but now Uruguay slide and they slide hard. Vardenbua though, beats the first up tackle, Vardenbua rolling his way towards the line. Good <laughs> stay. Desperate for points here, Fiji. Down by 10, only 15 remain. Before Off in now! No! Marawala trying to align his runners. Onside! Wide. Stay on! Marawala takes place. His four pack do their thing in close. Please! 21, back! Nakarawa, there it is in his hands. Nakarawa holding his feet. Numbers, short side Fiji. Marawala! Marawala! That is a key try for Fiji. 
The margin is back to five. Yeah, some real purpose from Fiji in the last five minutes. They've got down the end. They were not going to leave without scoring points. And Matsuolo is the end of that. And a good chance taken as well. Here's this great long ball out wide. And a good one from Vatsambua. I wondered here, is this going to be another occasion where he throws the pass? Not Vatsambua himself, but Fiji and dropped the ball. But he did and he held on. Great decision. And here's the end of it now with Matsuolo. And Uruguay just could not plug every gap. That's a Fiji we like, isn't it? More disciplined, a sprinkling of the wide play, and then you've got the Fords coming in and doing the work as well, and then instinctive work there from Matawalu. Well, they can still use their speed and skill, Mel, can't they? But just without getting ahead of themselves. And hasn't the game changed? I think Matsavesi is going better from fullback, and the game has changed since Volavola came on to add some shape. Yeah, he's made a big difference, hasn't he? Volavola, who landed 11 points in his World Cup opener in Japan against Australia. His first nudge at the sticks this afternoon. Josh Manavesi just couldn't get it to go where he wanted. So he hands the kicking tee over to Benny Volavola. Perfect angle to see if this sails through in car <laughs> issue. Vola Vola. Tugs it. Tugs four. it left. Four. Blue four. It's a miss. It's another miss from and 13, Fiji. Kicker. 13. Four, 13. And five points separates these two teams. I don't want. Miss. Yes, we're set for a great finish, aren't we? 12 minutes to go. Fiji looking for a converted try to get back ahead. Uruguay has responded. Almost every time today that Fiji has scored, they've come back within the next couple of minutes and put points on the board. Can they do it again? Ignacio Mbotti. Off the park. The Chelsea. Hammers this one deep into the Fijian 22. Mbotti. Up to the 22. Can they up the gears here? Late Fiji. Across the park they come. Nakarao delaying the ball there. And Mutu slipped up the good on run down who is in to touch. If you wanted. If you wanted the postcard from this game, that's it. Berchessi giving away around about again, 30 again. kilos to the steam trainees. That man, semi round round up, holds his ground and knocks the giant into touch. Just tenacious, isn't it? I've been nauseatingly repetitive about using fight today, haven't I? But there's just so much, so much courage, so much fight in Uruguay. And I think your man, Hedeman Kessler, the hooker, was across to help Berchessi as quickly as he could. Over the top, lost Teros go. Still over there, in contact from Uruguay, and they lose possession. They turn it back to Mbappé, who kicks ahead. 21. It's out on the fly. 21. You know? You have to stop, huh? Not a bad variation from Gondova. Unfortunately, the execution a little awry. You know, on that left wing, you really want to be using your outside foot to chip the ball ahead. And he's gone to the inside foot, his favoured leg, the right foot, and out it goes, straight into touch. Wait! A bit of an White. opportunity squandered for Fiji. Yep, yep. Yeah. 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 And again! Yeah. And again! Yeah. Yeah. Please no! Leave it! Leave it! Slowing the tempo, Uruguay. They led at the break. No, no! Leave it! That's once! And they hang on here. No, keep your mind now. Many had framed up to go deep, real deep here in Japan. Uruguay. 
Over the narrow side through Niklas Fleetas. Chessy, happy to go to the air and get some pressure on from the chasing pack. Rundra runs a screen there and it's brought in by Malabesi. Not in the ball. For Fiji. Not in the ball. Tight initially. Through. Not in the ball. Tex, Thabambati. Volleyball up. Poised. Releasing runners out to the left. It was Ngonova. In turn, sent it all the way to the fringes. It's loose back in for the Uruguay come through and dive on it. Deep here. Nothing happening, so they straighten through Echeverry. One of the stars of the Uruguayan seventh seam. Philippe Echeverry, he is a live wire. Good hand from Kessler. In test number 50, the clock keeps ticking. Fiji getting a little desperate here. They need the win, they need the bonus point win. Have a look, my YouTube. Stay alive yeah. for the playoffs. In behind they go, looking for the ugly bounce. Evan Avesi pops up. He was injured and somehow springs to life and all good. All good. secure possession oh, for each team. He got help from Volleyball. Use it, use it now. You touch the ball, Kayon. Radrandra looking short side. Do they have mastered up well on Simi Radrandra this afternoon? The Uruguayans. Just sucking some defenders in, Uruguay. Need to get right. Go. Now they can head back. And then a hand to Etcheverry. Leap Etcheverry goes to the skies. And Rundra collapses with the ball. It's very off his feet, diving on him. Rayon, Rayon, first one! And now Rayon, first one! Somehow, the Medi Blue come away with it. Who's one Pedro Rombis? Fiji yes, yes. losing the feet of the breakdown, so it'll stay with Uruguay. Taking the pressure off his Ziva. The winger goes in and does some tough stuff. Oh, the ball is out! Again. It's going to fall out to Uruguay. They slide again. Desperation from Uruguay. Silver no, stealing no, Chucky no, Meters no, off. No, don't touch. Throwing himself at the feet of the Fijians here to hang on to the ball. Uruguay. Tight. And just turning the clock down here, lining it back. Siveta. No! Penalty Uruguay. Penalty Uruguay. And a chance to put the margin out beyond a converted try. We have got one of the all time World Cup upsets in the offing here in Kamaishi. It's a golden opportunity here for Felipe Vercesi to put the icing on the cake and get outside that seven point buffer. The more this game's gone on, the more you just stand incredulous and admiring of this huge effort. It wouldn't be their first World Cup win, Uruguay. They beat Georgia in 07 and Spain in 1999, but this would be a boil over. Fiji, there's not a lot more they can do right at the moment. Their fate may not be in their own hands. Mel, well, yes or minutes, no? Five minutes, eh, Gus, Marius. And, uh, I think Bracey. it would be a Fijian miracle if they can pull it back from this. I know they'll be disappointed. They've shown moments, beautiful moments of flair. And like you said, the Uruguay team, the bravery, the courage, the guts, these are things you can't measure in statistics. Still plenty of time, Mel Robinson for Fiji, but Jesse fades it back. It's a power fan. It's on the board. Uruguay are up. Uruguay are up by eight. We have five to go in Kawaishi. Now we'll see some real urgency from the Fijians. Here they go, quick kick off and straight into it. One sword's gonna set up. It's a clean tape. You see now! What is out? We have field position from Obachia. Manavesi. Manavalu. Huge numbers, wide left for Fiji. Out the back, the pass goes. He tries to turn, which means you've got to 
to sort of hold up the run. Uruguay over the top looking for the turnover. Won't get it. Every second vital for Uruguay as they look to hold on. They've played Fiji three times. They have never defeated them. Mutia. He comes into the line and gets through and keeps it alive for Marawalu. Maravesi has nothing in the tank. He's all busted. Maravesi can't hang on. He's not on the call. It is. And now it's thumped away through Echeverry. He'll want touch, won't get it. We're coming back for the screen. He doesn't have pressure. No point here. Back to the Maravesi. He's been injured in this second half. He just couldn't hang in there with Marawalu. And Uruguay will feed the scrum. It came from here, Botia making the break. And it went. And where were they? Matawalu. He could have stopped and shouted out, where was his support? Where were they? Matavisi had to step up. He had nothing left. He's already been hobbling around in the backfield. He got up there before his teammates. How did that happen? And Uruguay comes out of it again. Yeah, stop. I stop. Well, this Rule just 19. the ultimate check for the 19, Nations Rule. Cup that Uruguay hosted this year. They're up against Russia, Namibia, and a Please, the Argentinian side. But we've seen the positive effects of that cup on this right now already. Namibia have been good. Russia pushed Japan on night one. And now Uruguay are on the cusp of something yeah, very ready? special on a very yeah, special day in Kama Ishii. Yes, well, this will absolutely make their four years. You know, that's all inside. they were coming into this World Cup looking for a victory. Whoever it was against wouldn't matter. But the better the team it was against, then obviously the more happy they'll be. Touch. They'll be absolutely over the moon. Great for them to qualify early for this World Cup and be able to, off the back of that, Set. sign 15 professional centralised contracts. Set. And we're seeing the benefit now push. as they receive another sanction Set. against Fiji. Please, please, stop. How do you clock manage? How do you game manage now, Andrew Mertens? Yeah. You've done it before to win World yeah. Cup games. What's going let's go, through let's their go. mind? Let's go. Well, I think they're going to go for touch here, but I wouldn't mind seeing them just hold on to the ball. And they could probably soak up a little bit of time. The more it goes on, the more desperate Fiji gets. And we've seen today they haven't been clinical. They haven't been accurate when they've pushed things. Now, the more desperate they get, the more they're going to push passes. And Uruguay, by kicking the touch, has just given them the line out. Wait! I'd love to see them for their sake. Wait, wait, wait. Ball for a few phases. They've just got to kill another... Yep. Two minutes yep. plus change from the clock, Why? Uruguay. And it's probably easy for me to say, Sean, isn't it? Just hold on to the ball. Oh, oh, Vunga Kotov is a man who needs to get it started for Fiji. It's clean at the front. Nope. Thank you. Over Nakarawa. Bola Bola. The set piece play brings Randy Andre in the line. He throws the late switch to Malavesi, who has just not no, got the legs no. working. He's all Thanks. busted up. It was a brave charge from Malavesi. Uruguay. Tackling has never been more important for Los Terros in the history, the proud history of his country in Test Rugby. Mbutia, Mbutia straight and going back to the midfield, trying to bust his way through, dropped by Dotti. Marawalu, another minute 30 should almost do it for them as the Fijians go away through Nakarawa. There are 15 blue jerseys in the park, it feels like there are 300, they are no, everywhere. Geez. Closer we get. Malawalu. Bola bola. Deep from Batia. Batia. 40 away, Fiji. 90 seconds left. Bola bola. Runga Kota. Runga Kota put down. Short time. Malawalu. Malawalu. The next one rounded up. The 25 away. Beauty vanish here for Fiji. Runga should just let them have it now. Now stop! Give me the ball. Pascal goes here. Finds the mark. Now give me the ball. Surely it's too Ten much to ask for You don't release the ball. The clock keeps rolling. Yeah, they've got to score off one of these first two phases, don't they, Fiji? To give time the ball. to quickly drop the conversion and get a kick off. But I think Uruguay's even lifted their intensity. Here we go. 
Uruguay, they just need a muscle up in defence. It will go down Fuck on. as one of the bravest victories in the history of the Rugby World Cup. Nakarawa. Nakarawa clears it there for Bunga Koto. Bunga Koto trying no, to no, no, no. As he lost possession there, Bunga Koto no, slides hey. it back. 20 seconds remain. In comes Rundra Andra. Rundra Andra. There they are again, the blue jerseys. 15 seconds remain. They just need to hang in there. Fiji Vanich, Fiji. Vola Vola. Vola Vola is close. Is he, is he there? Has he been driven over? What's the call? What is the call? And I have no idea about the grounding. For me, on-field decision is not try. I have a check is running or no. If not try, I'm back to the penalty. In any case, put play out to the number nine. Okay. In terms of the result, my on-field decision is not try. Just wait till you see the outpouring my wrist. from you. All right, on-field decision. Yeah. No try. No try. We are having a look for you. I think he's moving for one in goal. Try first for Bola Bola. I think he's a man. I'll get back to you. Right, here we go. He certainly seemed to have his arms close enough, if not over the try line. And has he rolled that ball onto the line there? Suspicion it might have just touched the chalk. As you say, it's not irrelevant, it's irrelevant in the course of this result. And I think we've been witness to something extremely special here. But Pascal, yeah. So the player grounds the ball short sure. and then loses possession of the ball. Okay. So it's not grounded. Stick to your on-field decision. Okay, no try. I'm back to the penalty for player, Uruguay player. Uh, takes the harm of the number nine, number Correct. 21 of uh, Fiji. Okay. Correct. That's on the No fight. try. I'm back to the penalty. It's no Just try not because he's running short. And after he loses the control of the ball, I'm back to the penalty. Close. They still get the penalty, Fiji. They know it's over. They do want to score a try, though. Nothing to stop Fail. them regrouping and beating Wales. So they want to get him in for that. Yeah, I will look. No, I'm just saying, when I go down, him with a stick in that hand. He's not going back already. He might not be up there with Japan rolling South Africa in 2015, but it's not far off. The world rank 19th side who lost to Fiji 68 points to 7 in their last hit out. Have swung it back in their favour. Uruguay. And there's a huge fan of a huge group of fans in blue just on our left down here. They're on the starting blocks. They're in some of the shirts have come off already. They're ready to go. Set. Looking up, looking for Bola Bola. They'll keep it tight here. The Fiji forwards, edging closer. Use now! Use now! Slowly, Manawali short side. Manawali going himself. Has he got his second? Or have Uruguay done it again and held it up? Try, try goes on the ball. Just waiting for sign on here, waiting for the closing whistle from Pascal Gazer because that will give us the moment that Uruguay have worked so hard for, not just today, but across the last four years. They were smoked by Fiji at the 2015 Rugby World Cup. Four years later, wow, wow, wow. Here's a look at the final moments from Manawalu. Yes, let's take nothing away from the try. Good strength and vision from Nicola Matawalu, but he's showing no satisfaction, of course, whatsoever. He knows what's about to happen. They're going to hear Spanish denominated songs booming out across the ground and large celebrations about to erupt. What an extraordinary result. What about a way to cap match 50 in national colours? Herman Kessler. A day he will never forget. 50 caps and a win against Fiji. Bola Bola. Bola Bola, five in. Wait. To potentially make it a one point loss for his team. Bola Bola sends it on its way and this time around that misses. Here it is. Here is the winner.
pictures in. Dom's got him right to his crest for his nation's quarterfinal hopes have been extinguished by those men, by Uruguay, the 19th ranked side in the world. They have never defeated Fiji, but today they have led at half time and had enough in the tank to win by three. sad for Fiji but we can't focus on that unfortunately the story of the day is this incredible one about Uruguayan rugby the huge underdogs a small playing population only recently they've been able to contract their players as professionals they've gone through nowhere near the preparation of other sides coming into this and they have just put out one of the best performances I've ever seen Fiji can count on that underdog support at a lot of places around the world. They're the darlings of the rugby field, almost always. But today, they've been usurped by an even bigger underdog, and the crowd here will look back on history being made in Kamaishi for the game itself being here from this amazing result. I know this is not the interview you would want to do, but what went wrong out there for you guys today? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What went wrong for you guys out there today? You know, everything went wrong today. It's not the result we wanted. It's not the way we wanted to, be, to go today. Uh, we underestimated a very good uh, Uruguay team. You know, first outing for them. Congratulations to them. And for me, I thank all the support here today. And thanks for support in Fiji and wherever they're supporting us. Thank you. What will you say to your team to get them, I guess, them mentally back up? You know, it's got to be a, a, a bit of a mental um, game today. Um, everyone is, has going to be a bit down, you know, but, you know, it's still, it's still we've got one point today. Uh, still a, a, a little bit of positive outcome for us. You know, it's, it, you know, it's not the result we wanted today, but we've got to keep moving forward. We can't go back. We can't look at uh, what's behind us. We've got to keep forward, keep looking forward. Commiserations, Thank you. They are a team, Andrew Burns, we can look back on now as, as a side that we, I mean, we thought that they would be pushing Australia and Wales. They did. They pushed Australia all the way in their opening game. But today, there just wasn't that next gear that they could find like they did early on against the Aussies. Yes, and without looking for excuses for Fiji, you know, they've come into the tournament focusing on that first weekend, that game against Australia. Quick turnaround and they've run into a team coming into their first game who all their World Cup is about is getting a win like this over Fiji. And so they've been up against it from that perspective, from a motivational or a psychological perspective. It's no consolation to Fiji how much joy they've given Uruguay today because the respect that Uruguay has for Fiji is reflected in the celebration that we now see going on. And the beauty of being at this small stadium is these Uruguayan players are pretty much up in the stand with their people as we speak. You have got a smile on your face for a good reason. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm really proud of my country. We're not the biggest, we're not the tallest, but we came here to win. We are preparing this since four years, so I'm really proud of my country. How much faith did you have in your team that you could do this today? As I said, we are working since we qualified we're working on this. Uh, we, we never had anything granted. Uh, we always have to qualify first and then come to the World Cup. So since we qualified, we're thinking about this game. And you saw the passion. You saw. I'm, I'm really proud. 
Where does this courage and passion come from? Sorry? Where does this passion and courage come from? It comes from... Since... I don't know where it comes from. It's inside. I, I don't know. It's in there. Today we had to go there to to fetch it, and it came. You've only got a few fans here, but man, are they loud. Yeah, as they are loud, we are loud in the beach, and thanks for all the people that are here, and all the ones that came up early to see the match. Say hi to them, that believe in us. I think I don't want this to end. Congratulations. And also, thanks for this city. It's uh, really amazing the story that this has. So it's really a privilege to play here. Thanks for Japan and Kitakami. That's what it's all about. That's all you can say. Extraordinary pictures from Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium. So now look at the stats, Andrew Mertens and the handling errors again for Fiji at key moments, costing them. Yes, absolutely, and we saw it out there every time they got into, or almost every time into an attacking position, they would pop up the ball, partly through their own inaccuracy, but partly through that tenacity of Uruguay, and they just kept going. The position there in favour of Fiji, who would have thought with the talent they've got available, that with 64% possession, they wouldn't be able to score more points than Uruguay. Well done. Okay, that is a wrap from the Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium, and it's been an unbelievable day in so many ways. The rugby world unites here in this amazing part of the world. See you all again tomorrow.